welcome to Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. My name is Mrs. Lita. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, it's so good to have you back with me. This is Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. We're at Lesson 17B, if you're following along. If you like, you can go ahead and stand up wherever you are. We're going to begin with our warm-up song. How else will we begin? Uh, it helps us to get all nice and warmed up for the lesson ahead of us. Here we go. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come and sing with me. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands, clap, clap. Ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum, bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come along with me. Yay! We are ready to learn. We're ready to grow in Jesus' name. So the very first thing we're going to do is start with our consonant sound of the day. Consonant sound of the day, which is... You try that with me. Say, k, k, k. The sound of the day is k, k, k. And um, we have in the past talked about this sound. Do you remember? Yes, we talked about it as the letter C. K. But today we're talking about it as, as um, the letter K because the letter K also makes the k sound. Both letter C and K make the same sound. Our word family of the day is id, id, id. The letter I says i, i. The letter D says d, d. So when you take that i, d and put it together, you get id, id. At this time, if you'd like, you may press pause on your device and complete the exercise found on page six. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We were just talking about our word family of the day. We know that this letter I is a vowel and it says I, I, I. And we know that the letter D says D, D, D. When you put those two together, you get Id, 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 Id. What about when you combine all of these sounds together? When you take your consonant sound and pair it with your word family, Id. So you'll get K, Id. Id, k, k, kid, kid, kid. I know what that is. I know what a kid is. Do you know what a kid is? We know what a kid is. K, id is K-I-D. There's the word family that's going to be traveling along with us as we uh, learn new rhyming words today. So we have kid. And um, K-I-D spell the word kid. Can you think of any other word that rhymes with kid? Let's see, kid. What about lid? Kid lid. Oh, that's a good one. By the way, if you have your workbook, you may turn to page 15. And you'll be just where you should be for this segment of the lesson. Lid, lid. L-I-D, make the word lid. Oh, oh. Id, lid, lid, L-I-D, lid. I got it. Can you think of another word that rhymes with kid? Kid, lid, did. You knew that. You knew that. What about did? Did is another good word to use. Here's the word family. Just pointing that out so you'll see that it's traveling along with us, helping us to create new words. D I D D ID D ID D ID Did Did What did the kid do with the lid? What did the kid do with the lid? Do you know what the kid did with the lid? I don't know what the kid did with the lid. Maybe I should ask the kid what he did with the lid. I don't know, but you know what? They all rhyme. Kid did lid. And that word family is just traveling along with us wherever we go, helping us to create new words based on a small piece of information. 
So um, continue to practice the skill, putting in any new consonant sound and letter you can think of. Um, and if you need a little help, on page 15, you'll discover new rhyming words there. At this time, if you like, you may press pause on your device and complete the exercise there. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We are now in our Bible journey segment of the lesson, and it's a time where we're able to explore uh, biblical characters and morals and talk about um, things that characters have done in the past that have both pleased God, displeased God, and what we can learn from their experiences and from their lives so that we can better please God in our own lives. And um, in this lesson and in previous lessons, we've been talking about different qualities of God. And we've talked about how God is, covers you in love and he's faithful. We want to talk about um, now that he gives you peace and, um, and how, what we, you know, how we can experience and appreciate that in our own lives. So let's go get the book, Good Night God, so we can find out more. Okay. Good night, God. Credit here at the bottom. God gives you peace. I go to bed and sleep in peace. Lord, only you keep me safe. Psalm 4, 8. Peace is a thing that is quiet and good. Something you need when you sleep as you should. It's God's way of making you feel safe and sound. A heavenly hug when you lay your head down. Good night, God. Thank you for peace while I sleep in your care. Good, the end. Good night, God. That's a great um, little passage. It helps us to understand that peace is ours in God. If you like at this time, you may complete the writing activity on page seven and return when you're ready to continue. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We are now on pages 11 and 12 in our workbook. Um, what we are doing today is talking about Roman numerals. And we talked about Roman numerals in, in our previous lesson. And um, excuse me, in this lesson. And what we're going to be doing is trying to find out what, how do you write numbers 31 to 40 in our own numbers? How do you do that? We know... Um, we're going to look at each of these numbers in the Roman numeral format, and then we're going to write them in our own numbers so that we can begin to make that association between the Roman numerals and our own numbers. The very first number you see here are XXXI, and for the record, we're going to write our little helpful chart here, our reference, so that we can easily create this uh, create our numbers. Let's use the green pen. Okay, so we've talked about in the past how we have the letter I, which means the number, our number one. The letter V, which is our number five. X, which is our number 10. And today we're going to introduce another digit, another numeral, which is going to be L. Yes, L. L means 50. We'll talk about that when we get down here. Okay, so I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50. Here we go. So we have X, 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 I. X is 10. So we have 10 plus another 10 plus another 10 plus one, exactly, plus one. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 10, and we know that that's 30. X, X, X is 30. You don't have to necessarily remember the addition part of it. Just know that X, X, X 
is 30. And you can just remember that. When you add the I, that's one. So 30 plus one is 31. 30 plus one is 31. So we have here the number 31. Here we have XXX, which we said we're going to lock into our memory as 30. XXX is just 30. And then we have two number ones. So we have 31, 32. This is the number 32. And then we have XXX. So that's XXX, that's X three times, 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. But then we have three letter I. So we have 30 plus three of these. That's 31, 32, 33, 33. This is the number 33. Okay, so this is 30. We've established that. IV, we know is four. Um, we've talked about this in previous lessons, but when you take the I and V and put them together, it's just, uh, number four, it's just like saying five minus one. But once again, you can just commit to memory that IV is four. So you have 30 plus four, which is 34. Yes, good job, 34. 34, XXXIV is 34. XXXV is well, XXX is 30. And then we have V, which is A5. So 30 plus 5 is 35. 35. Good job. Do you know what XXXVI is? What's XXXVI? Well, XXX, we said, is the number 30. You've got that. Good job. What about this VI? V, I, I see the V is five. We just learned that, we reviewed that. So we have five plus a number one, which is six. So this is just like saying 30 plus six. Well then, what's 30 plus six? Let's see, 30, I'm gonna put up six figures. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 30 plus six is 36. Good. Okay, and so we have this XXX VII. I'm just going to move our chart over a little, particularly this part. Okay, and switch colors. So we have XXX, which we said is 30. And then we have VII. So if we said VI is six. What happens if you add another I? That's like adding one more unit. So we have six plus one, which is seven. Yeah, six plus one is seven. Therefore, XXX VII is just like saying 37 in our numbers. 37. XXX, which we said is 30, plus B I I I. So now we're going to attach another I, another one. So what's 37 plus one? Let's see, 38. 38. One more unit is just 38. 37 plus one is 38. We're going to write that down. 38. Okay, so here we have XXX, which we said is 30. We know that without any doubt, XXX is 30. But then we have this IX, and we talked about in the past how IX is the number nine, and it's just like saying IX is nine. Repeat after me, IX is nine. X is nine. IV is four. IV is four. IX is nine. IV is four. You just remember that. Mm -hmm. However, for the sake of just teaching, I'll show you how we got that again. IX, there's the number 10 and the number one. So we have 10 
minus one because the smaller number is in the front. And when the smaller number is in the front, you subtract, yes. So you have 10 minus one, which is nine. The same truth is here. The smaller number, I, is in front of the V. The V is five, the I is only one. So when you put the number one in front of a big number like the number five, that tells the, the person, I need to subtract you. So I V is four, I X is nine. Or you could just memorize it. I think that's easier, just memorize it. So we have I X is nine. So then what's 30 plus nine? Let's see, 30, you've got nine fingers up. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Here it is, 39. So X, 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 I, X is 39. Great work. So what did we just talk about um, a few seconds ago when we said if you put a smaller number in front of a larger number, what happens? You subtract. So yes, if you put a smaller number, so here's the number X and the number L. And let me properly introduce L. So L represents the number 50. L is 50. X is 10. B is 5. I is 1. Well, we're very familiar with these. We, we know uh, 1, 5, and 10. But L means 50. So that means if I wanted to count up to 50, let's say 50 apples. And if I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 apples. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 apples. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 apples. One more round to go. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 apples. Woo! Yes, I did. 50 apples. Well, back in those days, they said, well, how do we write number 50? I want to write this down. I want to tell the whole world that I have 50 apples. I know how to spell apples, but how do I write this number 50? That's when they came up with this letter L. I said, well, L is going to mean 50, just like our five zero and our, for our numerals mean 50. L is 50. So then with that being said, let's write that down. We have 50. And we said that if you put a smaller number in front of a larger number, you subtract. You remember that. So is X, is this number 10 bigger than or less than the number 50? It's less. Ten, would you rather have 10 apples or 50 apples? To be quite honest, I'd rather only 10, but 10 is certainly uh, smaller. Therefore, you're going to subtract because it's, it's in front of the larger number. So then 50 minus 10 is 40. We're going to write this number down. Let's change colors one more time. We have the number 40. Memorize it. That's probably much easier to just memorize it. XL is 40. I think that'll go a longer way. So then we have on the board Roman numerals for 31 through 40. We've learned a new numeral in this lesson, the letter L, which means 50. We also put the our regular numbers side by side so that we can begin to make that association between the Roman numerals and our regular decimal numbers. Good job. So this is here. If you like at this time, you may pause your device and complete the Roman numerals match on page 11. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. Isn't Roman numerals fun? You know, once you uh, memorize some of the more difficult to handle ones, it's really, it is a lot of fun. This IV is four. You just remember IV is four. And then you just remember 
y x is 9 and this is as high as we're going to go we're not going any higher yay so this is high. in the next lesson we'll be doing a review and so um, this is the, the cap on Roman numerals and we may introduce more Roman numerals at a later date but that's what we have there. It is now our Make a Joyful Noise segment of the lesson. Go ahead and grab your instruments, whatever it may be. We're going to um, praise God today. You can find the lyrics on page 24 to the song we're going to be singing. I will use my hand. Uh, let's use tambourine. Let's use a tambourine. What instrument did you choose? Ah, that's a good instrument. I like that instrument. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? <clears throat> the wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. Oh, the rain came down and the flood came up. The rain came down and the flood came up. The rain came down and the flood came up. And the wise man's house is firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. Oh, the rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the foolish man's house went flat. Yikes! So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessings will come down. Yay! Good. That is The Wise Man Built His House, and it is a good song to remember. If you like, you may continue to hum that song throughout the week, and it'll help you to remember that we are wise. We're not the foolish builders. Is that right? We have built our house on Jesus Christ. That's good. Yeshua HaMashiach. Great. Well, we are in the very last um, segment of this lesson. We're going to be practicing our handwriting. We want to um, write the letters I and D, our word family, together. Um, that way we can become proficient at writing our letters uh, close together so that we can start making these look more and more like words. And so you may turn to page nine in your workbook. We're going to get a purple pen. We're writing this word family. We're going to write you. Let's begin with the first letter, which is the letter I. Yes, the very first letter is I. So we have I. After the I comes the letter D. We're going to make our letter D and just take note of closeness of the, the two letters. And there you have it. Id. Id. Let's try that again. I, D, Id, Id. And remember, at this point, you can easily just add in a the first letter of your choice that's going to form a word, such as, such as kid, kid. We talked about kid today. What's another letter we could put there? Maybe L, L, lid, 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 L-I-D is lid. So um, take time to continue to change out those first letters and uh, have fun making up new words. Some words may rhyme, some words, um, some all words will rhyme, but some words will form real words. And you know what? If you put in a first letter that doesn't create a new, a real word, don't worry about it. Just have fun. And you can practice rhyming um, together as well. The lid, kid, did, sid, fid, bid, mid. You know, have fun with that. It'll help you to better appreciate the work family of the day and what we talked about. Before I let you pause for um, the completion of that activity, if you turn to page number 16 in your workbook, you'll take note of the journal time section there. Use that uh, section to write down any piece 
of information you received today that you enjoyed. Um, whether it's Roman numerals related or if you just want to practice writing things more and more, kid, lid, did, fid, feel free to do that on that section. Okay? But at this time, if you like, you may press pause on your device and complete the writing exercise on page number nine and return when you're ready to continue. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We are at the very end of another great lesson. It's been so good to have you. It's been so good to having you. I also want to make mention of um, the arts and charts section in the back of your workbook. You have a second number match game. <sighs> number matching is really fun and um, it'll help you to appreciate those spelling and the numeral that we've been talking about with our numbers, like the number one, and how do you spell one? O-N-E, and you'll see that there. This is actually for part two, so it begins at the number 11 and goes up to the number 20. Um, there. There's also some more sight words in this workbook, as well as flashcards and coloring pages. So take advantage of that, and that's um, for the parents. But until next time, Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, little hero. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with hero's boy.